Hello and welcome to a video of me, Winner at Trades, where I'm now doing the timeline video for my Arch Trotska series for Age of Civilization 2 here. Which I'm right here, Arch Trotska. Right there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this darn thing started. Since, of course, the beginning of this is going to be a bit slow. But, yeah, let's see how this goes. And, uh, fog of war thing, kind of, on discovery or something or whatever, so I was only actually able to see what's around me at the beginning here, so yeah. Then it's actually good to see everything else going on out here, in the game. So yeah, I got to quite a bit I can actually watch here. The first thing I do here is go to war with... Theodoro right there. Kind of taking advantage of the fact that they went to war with them. Now I was planning to go after them anyways. So yeah, got them as vassal. And then we'll annex them. But yeah, I guess I'll be watching everything else. I'm continuing to take over more countries over here now. This country over here has gotten quite a bit of land and everything. I'm kind of trying to stop them by having other countries go to war with them, which is completely failing, so I actually have to stop them myself soon. First off, we'll start off by taking over that. There we go. Going to war with Austria, which is their vast land. Yeah. Wiping them out, taking all of that land there. And then, of course, take over all of these other countries that I now surround there. Dante's doing quite well over in Japan already. Good for them. Quint's taking over the last of the British Isles there, kind of, by the looks of it. TR Congo's lost some of the lands they have in here, it's more along, and it's more or less just going along the coastline now, apparently. Also, country up here apparently went to war with me, so had to deal with them. They... no. They also went to war with me there, but I just decided to get, decided to get peace with them because, yeah, that's care. And just quickly took over those countries and started taking ultimatums to those up there. Quickly expanding. Which at this point, I'm pretty sure I just go after them over here. Yeah. Those two decided to go to war with me. I deal with them, annex that lands there, and vassal the ones left of them. In which at that point, I go and take over Kakistan. Which I only needed to do and was not made them to do. So yeah. Then I annex the two vassals. So I now have all of that under my control at this point. And at this point I'm going to the Balkans here. Taking over all these countries. Arizona's already doing quite well. I think. Iroquois as well, apparently. And that one there has gotten quite weak. Surprisingly, considering they are one of the strongest, only ones remaining over here in the Americas by the end of the game. Interesting. But yeah, going through the Balkans now. Taking over all of that. A bit of Northern Africa now as a result of that. So, next up is taking over Sicilia, which is currently the second strongest in the world. Oh, 
over here. This guy's quite big already. Good for them. Gone to war there and taking them over completely at this point. So there we go. I kind of clean things up by taking over those countries there. Just to smoothen out the border a bit. I, of course, only do that once I got the province spells done. So, yeah, after dealing with those, I go over back to Europe, start clean, finishing things off there. Yeah, there we go. Taking over all these countries now. For some reason, I was able to just do ultimatums against all those, which just due to me having that large of an army that they don't accept. But of course, set. They didn't. Salvoy didn't uh, accept because they were just. Just strong enough to be able to avoid accepting the ultimatum by default. And of course, fighting them, we get to my five thousand of my troops that they didn't accept ultimatums as well. But yeah, ultimatum to them, and they fall. There we go. So that's all of your under my control, and also Northern Africa. Great. Also, your has got its bad or there. And I just decided, I just started my entire assault on Africa, taking it all over in one go. Yeah. That was quite nice doing that. But Iroquois seems to have been defeated over here. But that one taking over majority of their land somehow. He also got that one there, getting stronger. By the looks of it, Argentina, and South America getting stronger as well. Plus, I'm pretty sure around now I have it where I'm kind of going around trying starting wars between a lot of countries. Just trying to have things cleaned up a bit, I think. Also, at this point, uh, I did get a bug that neutraled out all the relations I had with all the countries and everything, making it impossible to actually send ultimatums, so I had to go to war with all the countries at this point to take them over. So yeah, from this point on I actually have to fight wars instead of just sending ultimatums. In which I go after all the countries in the Middle East and also over here in India. And there we go. Finish that off. So next up is Asia. Go after all of that in one go as well. Also, they have got very strong. Seriously, I have no idea how they managed to get so strong when they were so weak. They barely had any land. It's not like they I failed to do that good. But yeah, South America. It's just Argentina and that country now, basically. Not so Argentina started off as a pretty small country as well, they may have become that. But yeah. And so over here, Asia has fallen, basically. There we go. At this point, Yamadakas, which I don't actually get to have in this timeline because darn game crashed on me, so yeah. We're about to get to the end of that, I think. 2017 is when I'm saying, so a few more years of just me dealing with province ability over here. But yeah, Americas I don't get to do anything about in this timeline because the guy game crashed me when I had two provinces remaining to take, 
one over here in the Caribbean, and then one province over here. I forgot Ulster. Um, Argentina had. It's there. So, yeah. Over here on the Americas, I basically had some troops land over here. Here, here, here. Yeah. Had troops land on different provinces around South America and also North America. Going around to coastlines and then just expanding from there. Maybe do a bit of editing and when I'm editing this I'll kind of try and overlay something there to kind of show that. Show the progress of taking your North America, I guess. Don't really know. But yeah. That will be the end of this video. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,